again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Set to go in a rematch of what would come to be known later as the first Super Bowl. The Chiefs and Packers are underway. Fielded about a yard deep. He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. On play action, it's Rodgers. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, 28 yards. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. up past the 30 to the 31. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Sanders and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line an 11 yard pickup and it's enough for a Chiefs first down and there's the first carry of the game from Barry Sanders his burst his bounce absolutely iconic that guy moves in directions most people aren't able to do career rushing yards are crazy over 15,000 and the only player with five 1500 yard seasons just incredible and three yards there takes him to the 45. not much happening there on first down i thought there might have been a hole for a split second yeah but it dried up pretty quickly didn't it closed fast This is Hunt. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. And they'll run it here. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. They'll try to throw it here. Vic, he's going to wind up and air it out. And the hit jarred it loose. 
It's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Third and long for Vic. And this is going to be incomplete. The former Pro Bowl linebacker Anthony Barr there to jar it free. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Uh, here goes Vic on fourth down. He's going to air one out. And this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and that will force a turnover on downs. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run into big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll buy some time right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Jack able to knock that one away. Miles Jack can just flat out cover. Doesn't matter who's out there, and he can do it really well in man. How about what he just did there in zone, though? Eyes in the right place, saw where the ball was going, reacted appropriately, and knocked it away. Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and 13. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And Jeffrey's got it. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. In for the score. And the Packers add on to their lead. Well, good with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. Now the Chiefs' offense, they get ready to head on the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. They picked it up for it. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. A 
second down throw for Vic. Now he's forced out left. Man open left side is Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Now it's Hunter. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Oh, God. Second down, Vic. Trying to lay one up deep. Tries for Rice, intercepted. Picked off by Champ Bailey. And a return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first well, this, and 10. Oh, I was going to say that safety's not there. This might be easy mode, but... So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Got him. Got him, boys. Ooh, almost touched him. He has cover two, and I still was able to beat him. I love that. <laughs> but nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz. Were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. I was just saying, I could be, probably run that for a touch. Right there, protection but. scheme. So he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. Second and goal from the one. Two, two, 26. They'll give it to him up the middle. <laughs> and he is going to be oh, stuck whoops. cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They come out here in the eye. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get <laughs> I ran that in. I can't believe that was those This one in for a Packer touchdown. Lorenzo Neal, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Packers add six to their lead. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now 21 to nothing. Boswell on now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Stepping up. I didn't spy Vic there, so it's good that he was able to get that tackle. Yard line. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. On third down, Vic. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Ah. They will indeed go for it. Vic going up top. Oh, I guess Nick Collins is going to pick that off. All right. It's intercepted. <laughs> Picked up. 
It's not an account, by the way. It's landing accounts, duh. I don't even know my own player's name. 